Assalamu alaikum everyone, it's Rania. This is the second part of the video, Theories of Self. Please watch the first video on my channel about Roger's concept of self and Cooley's looking glass self if you haven't already. Today we are going to look at Goffman's dramaturgical analysis and Mead's theory of social self. So let's get started. George Herbert Mead describes self as the product of social experience. It means that as soon as we start interacting with people and things around us after birth, using symbols and language, we start developing a self. Mead wrote, No hard and fast line can be drawn between ourselves and the selves of others. This statement of Mead conveys his idea that we become self-aware by putting on others' roles. There are two parts of a self. He said, the I and the me. The I is the more active, spontaneous, and impulsive part that responds to the attitudes of others. Whereas the me part is social self that understands the generalized others. The generalized other is a term used by Mead, which explains how we think about our culture, community, or the group we belong to and how it perceives us. For example, your me part thinks about how your family sees you. For example, kind. And the I part will respond to the me self by either remaining kind or changing your behavior. Irving Goffman described dramaturgical analysis in his book The Presentation of Self in Everyday Life. It is a notion that people live like actors, performing different roles on the stage of life. Goffman described each individual's performance as the presentation of self or trying to create specific impressions on the minds of others, called impression management. Our performance consists of our dressing, the objects we carry or props, our tones and gestures or demeanor, and a set like home, school, and office. Goffman also introduced the terms front stage self, which is a self we show to the world, like getting formally dressed up to go for a job interview, and backstage self. This is a real self that we reveal in environments comfortable for us, for example, using slang language in front of our friends and family. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching till the end, and I hope you enjoyed and learned something new in this part. Um, let me know in the comments which topics I should cover next and till next time, Allah Hafiz!